Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Nails again. Um, I am the Lifetime Activities teacher for 11th and 12th graders. So if you're gonna be a junior or a senior, this class is a great option for you. We do four outcomes in this specific class. The first outcome, or one of the outcomes, kind of depending on the year and the order, um, is rhythms. No, this is not like lyrical dancing or jazz or tap or ballet or any of those things. It's more like exercising to the beat of a song in different formats, like kickboxing, step aerobics, drums alive, and there's a um, Filipino cultural dance or movement, I'll call it a movement, that um, is called tenankling, which is super fun. Um, then we do a net games outcome where we play badminton, pickleball, tennis, if it, we can handle the weather outside. Um, and then we do a, another outcome called community involvement, where you would train for and design a community fitness event. Think like a 5K or a triathlon or maybe a Spartan race or Tough Mudder. Those are like crazy obstacle courses. Um, so eventually you'll design your own. But I love that outcome so much because I get to learn what's important to you. Normally, events like that have some sort of cause or organization that they are promoting or raising money for. So think like maybe you've heard of a 5K for the cure sort of um, event, and then you will eventually tie in whatever your community fitness event is back to an organization that you feel is important and deserves some credit or maybe some extra donation funds. Um, then our last one is called target games, um, which anything you're throwing an object essentially towards a target. Think bowling. Yes, we get to go to the bowling alley. We get to play can jam, bags, and disc golf. Disc golf is my personal favorite. I've played professionally for a few years, um, but we also get to go on a disc golf field trip too. So if you're interested in that class, sign up for lifetime activities. The overall course objective is to help you find physical activities that you enjoy that you can potentially do for the rest of your life. So maybe they're not super taxing on your body all the time, but it's things that you can, you know, enjoy for a very long time in your life. Um, and hopefully spark that sort of interest now before you graduate. And then you have to choose what kind of physical activity you want to do on your own time. If you have any questions, please let me know. Again, this is Lifetime Activities, and I hope to see you in class.